gonna make you shake your ass Right, it's Matt, welcome back to the shop Oh, the room formerly known as the wife's dungeon And, um, today we are doing the, uh, I'm going to show the experiment of um, these jars which have got all our um, ingredients and I kind of gave you a teaser uh, the other day whenever that was but there's a few things I want to say so basically what this the way this works is that these jars and you can see this is the water one and you can see that this isn't water anymore <laughs> but um, so all these jars pretty much have the same amount of fluid in it um, the test pieces are all different masses but we're looking for a change as in a percentage of mass change the, you know they're not all that identical and there is better more precise ways of doing this we do have some very precise scales um, that have been calibrated I have some weights some calibration weights we plonk on there and all that shit so I've calibrated this thing and so on now these are put in on the 10th of September 2017 it's now the 8th of October so it's a, as close as I can get to a month without you know I've got other things to do like work and all that so today's a Sunday and the last thing on Sunday what I want to do is I want to open these up and what we're going to do is I'm not going to show you all of it, just clips, but we're going to take out these three samples so there is some steel, some magnesium and aluminium in here. Sometimes they're sat on top of each other and sometimes they're not. Because I give them a shake every day. A lot of times they are in contact with each other because when you shake them they end up settling to the same place. They bump into each other and stay in the same place. Um, but it is random. Um, they are airtight so we're not introducing any excess oxygen so even when I do shake them a couple of times it's dissolved the oxygen that's in there but yeah you know what I mean um, we're going to stick this mesh on top we're going to let them drip dry then we're going to stick them in the oven let them dry properly then we're going to acetone them and put them in the ultrasonic for 10 minutes and then we are going to dry them again in the oven and then we are going to weigh them and see what they weigh right so just to open this bad boy up uh, this is just uh, water so this is DI water all the DI water that was used for all of these is the same DI water. It was a brand new bottle. Let me just get some scissors um, to cut this seal. So when we open this, we should have tweezers. Tweezers. Tweezers, would be good. The bloody old tweezers gone. I could just stick my fingers in, but there's a reason why I don't want to do that, and I don't want to do that because it could um, introduce. Or I'm going to suck a lot of the fluid out of my fingers. So there's the pit of a con rod. You can quite easily see that bit there is um, back. You know, come on, you bastard. So what we've got here is, this is a piece of magnesium, so this is from the Suzuki clutch cover, that's changed a bit in appearance, let me bring you in closer, oh not fucking further away, closer, where is that, oh there, <laughs> so that's our piece of magnesium, and so these went in shiny, I'll show you some pictures of how they went in, so that went in shiny, not really many drips, that's the aluminium, so you can see how that's darkened. That's the aluminium. All these are shiny. The uh, steel has copper, exposed copper, and steel. You can see where the steel is exposed because it's gone black. And you can see where the copper bits are because they're still coppery. Um, you can see where it's been chopped in half there. That's also gone black. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go and stick these in the oven and uh, give them a wash down and all the rest of it or should I just wash them? I should just wash them shouldn't I? not just dry them out yeah wash them with uh, um, acetone and then go and dry them out so there's our samples for water there's some acetone and here's a beaker that's been swilled out so we'll just put that much in it doesn't really matter the whole reason why we're using acetone to dry these things off 
I'm going to try not to touch them so there's no grease off my fingers. I did degrease them with some uh, DCM before I started. Put these in a sonic bath. Where's 10? Ah, uh, fuck it, we'll do. We'll do 9, because for some reason it goes 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, for some bizarre strange reason. So while that's doing its shit in the background, and hopefully you can hear me above the drone of that horrible bloody machine, um, there's a few things I want to talk about actually. So number one is, obviously the water's shit the bed, we can see that, um, but there's a few more interesting things. So I'm going to talk about one of the two or three of the ones that we have. So, move that out of the way because that's not actually one of them. So, we have um, Evans, so this is Evans, this is the Evans that I bought. Um, it's just straight Evans, straight out of the bottle. And the weirdest thing about the Evans is it's actually changed colour. So I don't know how well you're going to see that, but the Evans is a fucking hell of a lot darker. Even when you move the bits out of it and just look at the liquids, there's a big difference between the liquids. Um, so obviously something's going on, which you kind of expect, but this is my interesting point. So the other comparisons we have, we have water which we know is bad and Evans goes on about is bad. We know that, we're not stupid, this is why they have inhibitors inside. Um, to compare this we have uh, Coma 50-50, 50-50 DI mix, that was mixed at the factory, that's the stuff I put in the SV so we know what that is. Um, we also have uh, the Prestone 50-50, again that's 50-50 straight out of the bottle, um, that's that one. So, the good thing is, is it's easy to tell half the time because of the colours. So the other ones that we have is I thought, fuck it, let's just do Evans and Water 50-50. So it's in a sense that belongs to this group where these are 50-50 mixes with propylene and ethylene glycols. We also have, and you'll recognise this from the teaser video, this is the um, um, Castrol. This is the Castrol stuff, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, we also have mortal, so this is the mortal stuff, this is again 50-50, so that belong, belongs in that range, um, that's kind of like a peachy colour, not so much seems to have happened in there. And then we get into the other ones, now these are the other ones that I wanted to test and these are very very interesting. Um, so number one is Max Juice, which I mentioned before, basically this is propylene glycol that I got from a chemical supplier's and water so this is a 50 50 mix so this is just in a sense if you want to put it, call it that way it's just antifreeze and water without any corrosive inhibitors and these both are obviously clear when they started out because propylene glycol is clear on water so you can see that the water's had at the stuff so this makes a good case the fact that we need inhibitors now you know this won't be, won't be news to a lot of people especially dave but uh, it's just interesting to see which ones it attacks not just how it works out so that's a 50-50 mix, but it goes on its own because that's without, um, what is it, the Castrolite to mix as well, so that's the Castrol that goes there. So these are all um, the same kind of thing. Then what I've got, and this is the most interesting one, well these are the two most interesting ones. So this is straight propylene glycol, right, straight propylene glycol, no inhibitors, no fuck all, right just propylene glycol and it is as crystal clear as the day I put it in uh, even the, mag the magnesium shiny nothing has happened absolutely nothing that's interesting the other one that I was also interested in which is, comes back to the Castrol stuff I noticed this one I put it in so this is why I recorded it the weird thing about the Castrol and the weird thing about this is that you will see loads and loads and loads and loads of forums banging on about how um, ethylene glycol attacks magnesium. Just ethylene, oh it's got ethylene glycol in it, you need the propylene one. Well, that's the propylene glycol, I've, I don't know where the fucking label gun's gone, that's why I it got lost. <laughs> um, this is the uh, propylene glycol, this is the ethylene glycol, and I can't see any difference between the two of them at all, and this is the culprit that was fizzing away at the magnesium. This is the Castrol 50-50 mix, which is 
propylene and ethylene glycol. This is ethylene glycol and it hasn't touched it. It literally just hasn't touched it. This was fizzing like an idiot with the magnesium. This one wasn't. And everyone blames this for doing that. So, mm, we'll see. We'll see by the weights because maybe the fact that it's not fizzing isn't a, a, a guaranteed way. But I think it is. But anyway, so that's what we've got. We've got water. We've got um, uh, Evans, so they're separate. Then we have these, which are water-based with 50-50 mixes. Some of them have changed colour. Some of them haven't. Um, but yeah, again, you can see some of them have eroded the magnesium, some haven't, some have attacked the aluminium, some haven't. We'll see all that, and what I'll do in this video is, um, I'm not going to show you cleaning them all and weighing them all. What I'll do is, I'm recording all the numbers, so I've got all the numbers in this book, uh, from what I started with, and then the new ones that I need to record now. And um, what I'll do is I'll just show you what they look like when they come out, so it'll be our highlights. And then at the end of it, there's not much to see. Um, we'll just see the first month's um, change, rate of change between the masses. Right, so this one's Max Juice, so this is ethylene, uh, propylene glycol mixed with water, DI water, 50-50. Let's crack this open. Tweezers, where do I put them fucking tweezers? So... The... Aluminium looks exactly the same. The magnesium has this dull sheen to it, which I'm imagine is an oxidized uh, and magnesium oxide, and the conrod section has gone black. Like fook, like you can see. Now to make the test fair, what we're going to do is we're going to drip dry them all and all that shite but also can't touch them and I'm not going to clean the surfaces and we're not going to change the fluid because that would be cheating your coolant system doesn't get changed once every bloody week or once every month so neither are we going to change these yes some oxygen will get into the system every time we fucking open them up but gotta test it somehow so this is, like I said, I'm not going to show you this once, but this is the procedure. Is we have the scales, my pen ready, Where's my fucking fog. And we're doing water. This is water only, so there's our water. I'm trying to leave the lid on it so it doesn't evaporate and all that shite. Water is there, so water only. Get our uh, steel first. Put that on there, and it's zero out, so steel, 12.688, oh, oh no, freak out, 8.8, there we go. So you can see how delicate these scales are, and what we do is straight away, because I'm trying to keep it out of here as little as possible, I'll be clean back in the water. Uh, next is our alley. Well, this is 1.955. Alright, we'll go with that. Yeah, we'll go with that. As I say, I'm not going to touch them. That could skew with it somehow. And then our magnesium bit. 2300. On the nose. This is the Prestone one. I can see these, that's a bit easier. So that's the magnesium. I about, what am I doing? Oh, it's not fucking hard to control these cameras, I swear to God. It shouldn't be. It's just hard for me. Right then, so there's our steel. Now our steel, apart from blacking on the outside, the actual inside surface and the fresh cut steel look fine. That's strange. So the outside, this was unscratched. This is scratched off to expose some of the steel. It hasn't gone black. 
This has just gone darker, like muckier. But the actual cut sheen steel there that was cleaned, that's fine. Um, our magnesium, uh, aluminium is absolutely fine. There's not, I can't see anything wrong with that. That's as it went in. But like I said before, I put this up that our magnesium has definitely gone darker, a lot, lot darker. But is it losing any weight? Is it going to Slimming World or is it just going darker? I'll let that drain for a second and then we'll uh, crack on. Right then. So this is Evans. I said change colour. Let's just do that. I could do that between takes, can't I? Jesus Christ, instead of having that thing ringing, it's probably loud as fuck. Right then, Evans, 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 Evans. The one we've all been waiting for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, it's the different sizes, it's just the, the one that I did at the time. God fucking look at this stuff, it's like treacle. That is the weirdest thing, this stuff is as thick as fuck. Hence why I wanted to drip it. So that's the magnesium, so the magnesium has changed colour. There's no doubt about that. Aluminium looks fine. And the steel looks fine as well. Yeah. The only problem is we're going to lose loads of this because look at this stuff, it's fucking thick as anything. Oh, it's alright, it goes fucking super slippery when it's warm. Well, we're testing that as well. Fucking hell. That's kind of pissed me off a bit now. Just look, literally, I can pull the stuff. Ah, oh, that might be the way. Yeah, because the thing is, I've got to take this out like 12 times. Oh, yeah, you can see that very well. Could you let me zoom you in? Ooh, that's it, out, you idiot. So. That's the difference. You can see that. So these pieces of the pieces of steel. I've got the original pictures, but the pieces of aluminium and alley were shiny. You know, so that's what the aluminium looked like. Um, that's what the uh, steel looked like, like steel, like you'd expect. But the magnesium did not look like that. Did not look like that. So if it's getting lighter or not, we will find out. Hence why I went with a big chunk, because that'll show us a bigger percentage difference. Because really, what we're all here for, we're here to see if fucking Evans is actually good at anything versus other stuff. Right, next is the coma. Let's get into this shit. This is the stuff I have, well, I have it with water wetter at the moment in the SV, but this is what I just went and bought from my local place. Um, what have we got on here? We've got loads of shit stuff on this. So we have the aluminium that looks exactly. Uh, let me see and give it a shot. That looks exactly like it went in. Unfortunately, by the look of it, our magnesium is starting to decay. I'll start to react, should I say. Yeah, that's kind of what we're coming to expect. Now, steel. Uh, no, steel's still good. Yeah, still got that steel look to it. Um, yeah, so the colour's hardly changed at all, really. It might have gone not as a brighter pink, but uh, slightly. Um, more, less vibrant pink. Well, we'll let that dry off. Let that run off a bit, and then we'll do exactly the same trick. 
So, letting that drip to one side, just taking this out of the Evans bath, something interesting has happened. So the aluminium is darker, it's not as shiny as it was, but a lot of it seems to have come off in the acetone bath. Mmm. That might be not good. That, at first you think, oh, that's good because it's clean. It's a lot cleaner than it used to be. But that might actually be magnesium in there. <laughs> um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Steel still looks good. But yeah, we'll weigh these and see what happens. These will just come out of the oven. Right then, this one is the uh, MEG. So this is monoethylene glycol for the rest of us, ethylene glycol. <laughs> uh, this is fun. So, from the fucking hell fire, from the look of it, that's exactly how she went in. <laughs> like that's how all these samples went in. That's magnesium. That's a nice big chunk of magnesium that went in. This stuff is thick, but this stuff is not as thick as Evans. It just isn't. That's the that's the magnesium um, aluminium, sorry. So the aluminium, you can see the stainless steel wire brush marks on there. Nothing fucking wrong with that. That's just where I cleaned up a bit of it just to give it fresh metal. And then this is the a wrist pin because we've run out of fucking conrod. Uh, that is a wrist pin, and that looks exactly the same as it did when it went in. Weirdly enough. So like I say this stuff is thick. I don't know if it's as thick as the Evans. We do will we will find out because I've got a viscometer. Um, so we are going to do some of them things. That'll be in a future episode about other things. Um, so yeah, let them. I'll not let them drip like drain like that. Let them drip on top of there, you idiot. Eh, got fucking up my own experiment. But yeah, so that's what they should look like, which is really interesting because that is a hundred percent. Eth uh, ethylene glycol. So I want to wait for the results, but one thing I do want to say is this: Evans costs you shitloads. Ethylene glycol is toxic, but you can use propylene glycol. Propylene glycol looks like this. These samples have been in here for a month, and so have these ones, and they both look through this perfectly fucking fine. This is what the weight measurements for, so it's not just my personal preference. Or, you know, I think it doesn't look that bad, so therefore it isn't. We're going to weigh, you know, we're weighing them as well. Buy this or this. It'll do exactly the same thing as this, but for a fifth of the price. Literally. Uh, you know, I'm, this is a really early conclusion, but these, the samples in here, especially the magnesium, is starting to look like shit. Even if it does come off, something's happening and it's changing colour. These are clear and they are coming out clear. It seems that nothing is different. They were wanging on, were Evans, about, oh, well, we've spent all this money and time and patents and all the rest of it trying to formulate the correct fucking bollocks. Bollocks, I can't see it. I just fucking can't see it. None of these metals, you can see there, they're all fucking sat on top of each other. None of these metals seem to be doing fucking anything. There seem to be inert in ethylene and propylene glycol. Now, maybe, and this is why we're doing the experiment for six months and then a year, I'm going to do a kind of like a six month report and then a final experiment report after after 12 months. This is why you have to go the full 12 months. Maybe something, you know, is going on, we just can't see it yet. But from one month, you know, 30 days, or just less than 30 days, it's actually 28, I think. Uh, or 29 days. 29 days, and I can't see fuck all with this or this. But every other sample has got something going on in some kind of way to one of these materials. So, it just seems like, again, that even the... Um, you know, I made the prediction a, a month ago or whatever, saying that Evans is probably going to do the best. Well, actually, weirdly enough, it doesn't look like it. Not yet, but we'll wait for the results. So... We've got this stuff in the IPA bath, and I wash this out every time I do it between um, different experiments because I don't want to cross contaminate stuff. And I've got some filters here, some filter paper, some you know, like you used to have at school for your fucking dicking around experiments and what have you. So, what we'll do is we're going to catch this shit. Whatever is in there. Uh, 
God, I can look at it in suspension. You can't see shit, what am I doing there? It's fairly big chunks because this acetone's coming out clear. Look at it, fucking hell. You can't see shit, what am I saying look at it for? God, if only I had a spectral analyzer. <laughs> I'd never sleep. Looks a bit metally, metallic to me. Metally. I was going to say metally. Jesus Christ. Take the last thing on a fucking Sunday, can't you? Alright, we'll let that drain out. Go and wash this one out, put some fresh acetone in it. So that's the acetone that I've just cleaned out. As you can see, that's immaculate, there's fucking nothing in there. So it's all massive particles, really. And this filter has caught me. What the fuck is that? Well, luckily, the acetone will flash off and we'll see if it burns. <laughs> My God. That was out of the Evans one. That's just off that magnesium. The rest went in clean. Here's an example. Is that these ones on here have just come out of the um, coma. So these have just come out of the coma. These have just come out of the oven. These are ready to go in. Oh no, these are about to go into the oven. Should I say, sorry. Um, and as you can see, that, that discoloration on the... Oh, you can't fucking see. This coloration hasn't come off. Oh, the reverse side is even better. You can see how discoloured that is. That went in shiny. That hasn't come off. Well, it came off the Evans one. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing or not, because my magnesium's here now. It's here. It's not on the part. <laughs> I don't know, that's crazy. Right, so this is the interesting one. This is the uh, Castrol. All singing, all, mo all dancing, motorcycle one. This is formulated for motorcycles, so it reckons. Let's have a look. Let's get a new piece of grilling. And the aluminium looks like it did when it went in. The steel looks like it. Oh no, oh yeah, it did. It looked like that. Yeah. And the magnesium, which is the one I'm always interested in now, you see that started to go funky, funky, funky. That was the one that's fizzing away. It's actually gone. It's the sides that were snapped, so these. Oh, okay, you can't see anything. These sides were snapped, the whole thing was snapped, it was whacked with a hammer until it broke. I then cleaned these top and bottom surfaces there and there. So there might be residual shit on there. Um, but the sides there, these clean snapped sides, they're pure aluminium and magnesium. You can see they're the darkest bits. So I'll let that drain a bit. And then we'll crack on. This one's the propylene. This is a hundred percent food grade non-toxic propylene glycol. And as I expected, or as you could see through the uh, clear side, very thick this stuff. This is where it gets its thickness from, I think, Evans. This is a lot thicker than, it seems a lot thicker than the ethanol, that ethylene glycol. Dave will probably go, well of course, that's so and so so and so. So that's the aluminium bit. That's the magnesium bit. You can see, look, fucking nothing different. You can see this, this where I've cleaned it up and everything. Nothing different. Again, the steel, not a fucking smidge. Because there's no water. Makes sense, that's why when you put water with the other one, the matched juice, which is this plus water, you get, um, what am I doing? 
you get uh, rust. You know what I mean? <laughs> Took the lid off and forgot to bash the card. So this is the Evans Plus Water 50-50 uh, DI. So we've got that. Um, so this is uh, obviously with Evans rust inhibitors and what have you. This guy's thick as fuck. And we've got some red. Is that actually... Yeah, there's some red on there, so that's a magnesium. Obviously, it never went in like that. This is a bit of alley. Look, you've got red. We've got red deposits. Oh, look, look at that. Fucking hell, what's going on? Dave, help me. What's going on? <laughs> it's depositing the red. And it's not just brushing off. Onto the alley. On the steel. The steel looks... Uh, no, it's time to get rust. Look, black. Black section, really heavy black section. Maybe on the actual uh, rod ends, that, that section there, maybe because it's been surface hardened because of the rollers, or maybe because it's had that much oil squished into it over time. These were all a DCM to clean them out. So let that drip for a bit and then we'll, uh, like I say, crack on. Shut that shit off for a minute. So this is the last one. This is the mortal. Oh, I do like the colour actually, I must say. It's like a yellowy, pinky hue. So I've run out of battery, shit happens, gone and got a new one out and we're just about to finish off. Um, the Evans and Water, even after the, um, let me bring you in closer so you can proper see this. The Evans and Water, look at that, that's on the aluminium. The Die seems to have come out of the suspension, and well, I can imagine the aluminium doing it because uh, it's easy to. Um, well, no, I was going to say easy to anodise, but that doesn't make any sense because you have to open up the pores to make aluminium oxide, and this should already have a nice oxide layer. Uh, it's weird; it's just stuck to it. So that's probably going to get heavier. <laughs> um, and the same thing with the magnesium. You look at that, it's got this red sheen to it all over. Fucking strange. Some bits are more intense than others. You'll see dark bands. It's just insane, like on that edge you'll see there's a, a darker region where it's really... Yeah, I just don't know. That's really weird, is that one? So Evans plus water alley 1.508. Pop that back in. I have to make sure these all cool down before I put them, weigh them. Uh, it's, it's when I drop them in there, I don't want there's some funky reaction because it's too hot. Magnesium is 1688. I imagine because these are all going to get heavier now with that die stuck to it, so I need to take that into consideration. You can't see what I'm doing here. Zooming out would be helpful. Uh, and then the steel bit. Um, six, eight, four. The steel doesn't have any red on it. Not one bit. There was some weird rusting going on there though. Really weird. That was cut clean. Mmm. All this weird shit happening. Stuff I don't understand. Right, I'm just, uh, it's the mortal one, I'm just cleaning that up, as you can hear in the sonic bath. And then we will put that in the oven, and then we will be drying that out, letting it cool down, weighing it, and then away we go. That's me done for the time being. I will see you all in a bit. <laughs> 